Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Thank you guys for joining us. So, uh, things are ramping up everywhere you look, every every direction, you know, from obviously geopolitical situation, the earth changes, and uh, disclosure. You know, uh, what are we witnessing? And here, this is in between El Paso and going up, um, let's see, where did they say again this was? I just want to double check it. Yeah, Las Cruces. And so, and we'll be in this area at some point, probably again, passed through there about six months ago. You know, this is a really cool video, and, and I don't have permission to, to run it, run it, but you could see there's these uh, bright golden type of lights, and they just change shape and pattern. You know, Cindy had said, you know, wondering if they're flares. I don't know. I, I don't think so. Uh, but you never know. And then there's these, let's see if we can see them, these other little white lights, which you'll notice around them. For one, there's like an energy field around this thing. There's an energy field that seems to be emanating from it. And then you see these white sparkly uh, things that remind me of little orbs that are all around it. What's your impressions? Well, I'm not sure about the orange things, but the little sparkly things all around it felt like little, maybe little sparkling beings. I'm not sure, but those were really cool. This, I'm perplexed. I, I don't know what to think of it. It's pretty cool. Um, it, it's an interesting sighting. And, you know, this is not the only person with this sighting. There's uh, three videos that this other gentleman named Justin has of this. Uh, but he says, don't play, don't show, don't share. So, uh, same area though, same area from a little bit different angle. So this is something that was captured by more than one person. Uh, it's super curious to say the least. And especially because there's sightings like this going on, uh, everywhere now, uh, more and more and more sightings, you know, it's, disclosure and I know there's some out there that still don't believe there's life anywhere but here uh, but I mean that to me is just silly complete silliness there's definitely life but and also you know whether this is disclosure and then there's those that think you know uh, we've talked about uh, project blue beam fake alien invasion or set up one world government one world government's been here the whole time, where have you been? The last you know, probably 5,000 years it's been in place. Uh, it's just morphed. So, you know, this is fascinating stuff. This is from Tammy Chavez, who um, took this video. And pretty interesting stuff, to, to say the least. And then here's another one that's kind of interesting. This is in San Paulo. And this, again, is something that kind of morphs and changes shape. These different lights. Uh, there's just so many things being seen everywhere we look around the globe now. There's all sorts of sightings going on. A lot of big triangles, tons and tons of triangles. Those I do think are ours. Um, interesting stuff. Okay, so here, this next one, Cindy thinks is a complete uh, BS. And I'm not so sure. Uh, not there, but here. That one, that one. Yeah. Okay, so this one, we'll play this one, and this is off of Instagram. On this scale, but this is the real reason why I don't show my face. I look. See? See, I got real Illuminati bloodline. You turn the camera on. So, what do you think? Uh, he's saying he's a reptilian. Justin Snow finally proves his reptilian yeah. Illuminati bloodline. Inner, like an inner eyelid. Interesting stuff. I don't know, guys. What do you think? It gives me the willies. I'm going to call BS because it's just too too perfect there's something up with this yeah, well i mean how does he do that right. how does he do i mean is it cgi is that what that is i don't know that was super curious um yeah i don't know and so you know we've 
talked a lot about bloodlines and reptilians and stuff. So we were out in the desert yesterday and today. Um, the spraying was massive. And then look at the patterns here. Um, it felt horrible out there, honestly. It felt absolutely horrible out there. And looking at this, especially with the patterns, got to wonder, is it something like, you know, you put the particulates up in the air and then, I don't know, they harp it or something like that and resonate it? Is it is it some sort of signal being sent through 5G, you know, uh, something along those lines? It felt terrible. My, I was, my whole body was dragging. Um, it's like I was pushing through sand. It was. It just felt terrible. Yeah, you know, and, and we found something yesterday. We, we found something that's significant. And you know, one thing that never happens is we both forgot our phones. You know, I had just like did a video with my phone. And so I plugged it in and I forgot to take it with me. And so we, we had hiked out to this area and we I, don't know, I felt compelled to go to this one spot. It just looked so curious. And when we got there, we found embedded in the rock um, circular manufactured. Um, I don't know what they are. They're, they're, they're circular and they're manufactured. They're embedded in the rock. Look like maybe some sort of poles or pipes uh but this is in an area in the desert where nobody's ever you know built anything there's nothing there um you know it, it looked like there was technology that put these things there it wasn't uh, native american carvings or anything like that and they were very much the same like multiple ones almost like you know pylons perhaps so we wanted to get back to this spot uh, really weird because you know we both got really sick the closer we got to this spot um to the point where i felt like i was going to throw up and i just couldn't go any farther closer to it we got to maybe a uh, hundred yards of it and we just we had to stop and zeke was dragging he didn't want to go there and and yesterday when we were there he was really freaking out and couldn't wait to get going and get away from the area um you know, he he most definitely didn't like the energy there. No, he didn't. And to, I want to try to hopefully go again tomorrow. It was just so strange how we could go there the first time when we didn't have anything that could record anything. But today we bring our phones and it's like we, we can't get too close to it because of the energetic pushback was terrible. It was terrible. Um, I mean, it really, we were both getting physically ill the closer we got to it. And we've experienced that in a few spots out there in the desert. I do think it's kind of a warning uh, of some sort. And so, you know, we're going to try to go back again tomorrow. Maybe not take the dogs because, uh, you know, Sassy was okay, but Zeke was definitely dragging and freaking. And I don't know if you guys can make it out, um, but I took some photos of what to, to us look like footprints. And I would say these footprints were very consistent, about 18 to 20 inches long, um, maybe even a, a little bit more, you know, maybe up to 22 inches. Uh, and pretty, you know, this is not soft. <laughs> this is all hard rock. It's very dry. Um, you know, we barely leave a print as we're going. And these, these were fairly deep. And I'm not sure if if I play with shade or light, if it could help at all. Um, but I have several. So this is like the heel. And then comes out to the front part here. You might be able to make it out a little bit better with that, but um, it's not the first time. I mean, we've seen f these footprints out there. Here's another one, comparing it to my foot. We've seen them out there multiple times, multiple times. And interesting enough, a lot of times around abandoned mines or where there is an abandoned mine. That makes you go, hmm, you know? 
as we see here those weren't as distinguished but you know the other thing we found too was there was an area where it looked like something was getting dragged it looked like there was a struggle in an area you know like there was something struggling then something was getting dragged and then I found the big jawbone of uh, what looked to be a burrow or a horse and um, and then Sassy was walking around she found another piece of a bone and she had it in her mouth Here's another one. So we found a bunch of these, and this is in that same area. That same area where we found the manufactured looking things. And uh, we're going to try to get back there tomorrow to brave through it. And uh, I think I'm going to go revisit. We will go revisit uh, another area. This one you might be able to see the best to get an idea. Can you guys see that? Um, there was another area where we saw multiple footprints right by a mine. And this one you could actually make out the toes up in here a little bit. So, you know, I'm a size 11. That's pretty big, don't you think? <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I, I gotta say, I think there are still giants out there in Nevada and I did a video on the giants of Lovelock uh, Nevada and that got demonetized and that got demonetized when they weren't demonetizing everything and I was curious that they demonetized that one and then they did their review and they they kept it you know demonetized after the review so you know what's up with that there is something they want to hide when it comes to the giants out here and when you think of it 85 percent of nevada is blm you know it's all federal it's federal land and it's federal land for a reason you know maybe these giants are still there you maybe and maybe these caves you know maybe not all these caves and mining operations are all really about the gold or maybe they're still about the gold and it's you know Anunnaki related stuff. It could be because Nevada has been people have been mining for gold here for for a very long time and BLM has had its grubby mitts on this land for a very long time so you know and it looks so scarred it looks so war-torn here. Yeah we found shards which I didn't um I, I didn't I didn't put in this uh, bunch but I we brought a couple of shards home of something that's definitely manufactured it, it looks like it might have been pottery of some sort but but not like Native American done by hand it's most definitely like a machined look to it and it's just out there in the middle of nowhere um, yeah I think our history is much different than what we know I do think there were big battles. Oh, and the other thing is we took a Geiger counter. Cindy wanted to take a Geiger counter. In our house here, it uh, usually reads 20. Mm -hmm. and then yeah, and uh, when we went out there, it was uh, shooting up into the 60s. Yeah. Especially around the area that we felt nauseous. <laughs> so very curious. So uh, we just wanted to share that with you guys. As always, my friends, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for your support on uh, Patreon and also on Ko-Fi as it does keep us going. Uh, as you can see here, you know, limited, limited. You know, these are all being demonetized. And, and it goes way back to, I mean, it goes back. And these, most of these were yellow and then they just flip them after a day or two once they know all the views are mostly done. But it's part of the war that's going on, the whole censorship thing. So my friends, as always, stay prepared out there. Keep your eyes to the skies. God bless and namaste. Namaste.